When was the last time that I really felt like, you know, my mind was in bloom, that I had my best ideas? And it was before I had my smartphone, because now I realized every spare second I had, when I used to be sort of spacing out and thinking about things, I was looking at my phone. Then I started to ask, well, what if we never get bored? What could we be missing out on? And what I learned was fascinating. In your brain, when you get bored, when you're doing something that doesn't require your active focus, when you're folding laundry or just lounging on the couch, um, you ignite a network in your brain called the default mode. Some scientists call it the imagination network. And in the default mode, you think you're doing nothing, but actually your brain is incredibly busy. You are coming up with your most original ideas. You are taking disparate thoughts and smashing them together to create something new. You do something called autobiographical planning, where you look back at your life, what you've achieved or haven't achieved. You create a narrative, and then you also think about what you want to do next, and you set goals and milestones and, and plot your path forward. So this is really important stuff that happens when we think we're bored or we're doing nothing, actually some amazing things can happen. The more we're tapping on our phones, the less we're giving ourselves time to tap into the brain power uh, that the default mode can offer us, which is sort of deeper thinking. And the word boredom, it sounds awful, right? But actually, I think you have to pass through that sort of discomfort and to get to that good stuff where you start to come up with your most creative ideas. If you want your employees to really come up with unusual ways of solving problems, to really think about how to create total paradigm shifts in your business, it's not by making sure everybody's on Slack necessarily. Maybe it's that. And it's also making sure that they take the time to, and yes, meditation is great and being quiet is great, but actually have space to just think. And what I'm hearing from a lot of people right now is that they need to turn their phones back into the tools they originally were from the taskmasters that they've become.